In the intricate tapestry of the British royal family traditions hold an almost sacred sway certain zavainments at ceremonies are reserved for the exclusive attendance of the inner circle with protocols and precedents governing. Every aspect of royal life, however, the less circumstances in Turrent Meghan Markle, inclusion in the family's private festivities would inspire a significant shift in one such long-standing tradition princess Beatrix and her husband Eduardo Melli, and that's why I would find. Since those breaking royal convention, even before their 2020 wedding, typically partners are not allowed to participate. In the family's cherished Sandry hymn celebrations until after the marriage, ceremony has taken place with only spouses and close relatives granted access to this hallowed event, but in a move that mirrored Prince Harry's invitation to Meghan Markle in 2017, Beatrice would extend the same rare privilege to her then fiance. Eduardo set inclusion done non-member into the family's most private traditions was remarkably unusual. Occurrence as royal expert Richard Fitz, Williams noted in 2021 in the past, neither Kate Middleton nor Sarah Tyndall were invited to join the Sandringham festivities until after their respective marriages to Prince William and Mike. Tyndall the royal family steeped in centuries of protocol had traditionally adhered to the principle that only those who had officially become part of the firms were permitted to partake in these sacred traditions. However, the precedent set by Harry and Meghan's living arrangement at the time, the couple were already cohabiting at Nottingham Cottage in Kensington Palace while Meghan's own family was across the Atlantic and the United States had evidently inspired the Monachi to make an exception. This flexible approach to tradition would pave the way for Beatrix. And Eduardo's own unique circumstances emboldened by this new president Beatrice and Eduardo were able to enjoy the family's cherished Christmas morning service at St. Mary Magdalene Church in Sandringham before their wedding day. This early inclusion allowed Eduardo to part, participate in official royal events and secure prime seats at celebratory occasions well before becoming an official member of the family through marriage, the couple's intimate July 2020 wedding ceremony at the Royal Chapel of All Saints Windsor was attended by both Queen Elizabeth III and Prince Philip, serving as a heartfelt tribute to the bride's beloved grandparents for the occasion Beatrix, chose to wear a vintage. Norton Harnell dress that had been borrowed from the Queen's own wardrobe a gesture that further cemented the family's acceptance of her union, but Beatrice's embrace of tradition went beyond just the wedding itself. She also wholeheartedly embraced her role as a stepmother to Eduardo's son Christopher Wolf from a previous relationship between this blending of families a testament to the princess's compassion and adaptability would set the stage for the couple's own joyous addition to the royal lineage, the birth of their daughter Sienna Elizabeth in September 2021 through this unique set of circumstances Beatrix and Eduardo were able to defy certain royal traditions and forge their own path within the family with Meghan Markle's precedent. Setting inclusion playing a pivotal role in shaping the trajectory of their relationship and its integration into the monarchy, the royal family renowned for its unwavering adherence to protocol and propriety had demonstrated a willingness to adapt and evolve in the face to changing social norms and personal narratives. This flexibility, though still firmly rooted in its core values, would prove instrumental in welcoming Beatrix Andard's union and allowing them to navigate the delicate balance between tradition and modernity as the royal family continues to navigate the complexities of the 21st century story of Beatrix and Eduardo. Unconventional journey serves as poignant reminder that even the most hell out of traditions can be reinterpreted and reimagined to accommodate the nuances of modern love and family dynamics. It is a testament to the monarchy's capacity for growth and its recognition that the preservation of its legacy lies not in the rigid adherence to the past, but in the thoughtful integration of the present in the grand tapestry of the royal family Beatrix and Eduardo's tale weaves a thread of innovation and adaptation where the power of love and compassion can transcend even the most deeply entrenched traditions. It is a story that not only captivates the public imagination but also serves as a blueprint for a monarchy that is willing to evolve and embrace the complexities of the modern world while still honoring the timeless values that have sustained it through less centuries.